<laughs> G'day trendsetters, my roses have arrived. Should be inside three times firefighter rose. I'll tell you a little bit more shortly about why I chose that rose and what I plan to do with it. But hopefully this is the start of my retirement. Firstly, we need to find out what's in the box. I am, I would have liked these to have arrived a little bit earlier. It's mid August now and the weather's really starting to warm up. So probably three or even four weeks ago would have been more ideal to me, but it is what it is. An invoice, hybrid T bush firefighter, times three. One times freight and free, please leave in a safe position. Oh, I got labels as well. How cool is that? I only got one. Anyhow, one firefighter. I chose this one. A, it's red. B, it has a long stem. C, it has excellent disease resistance. Now, me being a lazy gardener, I hate spraying. I hate needing to spray. So, they're on their own. Uh, 110 millimeter flower size. Flower size, 110 millimeters. That's a good size. Awards, bronze medal, 2008 National Rose Trial Awards. Past Swain's arduous evaluation trials in 2007. Heritage is lasting love and Hyde, Hyde, uh, Hyde, Hyde, oh God, I can't say that. H-I-D-A-L-G-O. Hidalugo. Beats me. At the top here it says, oh my, it's what we have been waiting forever for. A new and improved velvet red rose saturated with perfume. Oh, that was A, B, C, D. That was E, but it was actually probably A. I don't see the point in growing roses if they don't have a perfume. I mean, the first thing you do when you see a rose, whether it's on a bush or in a, in a vase, you stick your nose in it. So, you've got to have a perfume. That only red roses give. Superbly fragrant, long-stemmed red roses endure as a cut and vased rose for longer than most red roses. Grow firefighter for those you love or if you love the show bench. Uh, if you like Oklahoma or Papa Milan, you'll love Firefighter. So, Firefighter. And, basically, okay. There you go, they are individually labeled again. Hybrid bush tea, new and protected. Protected, I think, means that they are PBR, so you can't, copyright reserved, so you can't propagate them and sell them yourself. And they're just sitting in some moist, that is nice and moist, nice and moist, composted sawdust. And all I'm going to do for now, oh, they're tied around the neck here too. All I'm going to do for now is uh, string everywhere. Soak them for the next 24 hours. So I've got in here, I've got 20 litres of water and 80 millimetres of Sisol Gold. Basically just to rehydrate the whole plant. Look, see it's already shooting. Can you see that? It shoots all over it. This is what I mean. I would have liked it three, four weeks ago before these shoots appeared. Not ideal, but I don't know. This is when they chose to, to send them. So. 20 litres of water, 80 mils of six old gold, soak overnight and we'll come back tomorrow afternoon after work because tomorrow is Monday, today is Sunday and I'm going to pot them because 
I, I mentioned in a, a video a couple of weeks ago when I planted my cabbage over here, that's where I was going to plant the roses, but I needed somewhere to put the cabbage. So I'm going to put them in pots for the time being until the cabbage are finished and then these can come out of the pots into the garden. There you go. Firefighter. Look it up. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty rose. Intense fragrance. Sounds like a winner to me. All right, come back tomorrow and we'll pot these up.